Oi, it's all eats, brother. We're going to look for Sydney's best pizza, our shit of spots. This is where I reckon we're going. We'll start at Domino's, have to go there. And we'll compare everything to Domino's. We'll see if you get what you pay for. We'll go to Crust, because it's a famous franchise, you know, they're everywhere. Everyone said Westwood in Newtown, and with other place, Bella Bruda and Westwood. They're both in Newtown, coincidentally, but I don't know, like Arch is on my Instagram, and everyone said those two. So I reckon Domino's, Crust, Bella Bruta and Westwood. That's how we'll start at Domino's because we're comparing everything to that. All right, here we're in Marigville, Marigville Road, the local Domino's. Well, it's not, it's not really local to me, actually. This is what I reckon. You got, we got to keep the consistency everywhere we go. Like all the other episodes you clicked on for right now, it's going to be Supreme or whatever version of Supreme that these places have. You know those bougie places that don't really have Supreme pizza? You know, you ask for barbecue chicken, they're like, look at you like an idiot. Whatever's closest to Supreme, I'll take into account price and quality. Can I get uh, Supreme pizza? But no pineapple, can't do pineapple. Oh, a can of uh, Pepsi Max. I think you're gonna get this bill, like, What's the deal? Um, the drink and the pizza? Yeah. Beautiful, $10. Beautiful. Large pizza and a can of drink, $10. So this pizza is gonna equal about to be $7.50. All right, boys, this episode is brought to you by Manscaped, the Lawnmower 4.0. Listen, they're full taking over Australia. Remember, it was just shout outs on the internet stuff. Now they're in Woolworths. They're in every Woolworths. You want to get it? Go straight to your Woolworths and get it. Like proper quality in Woolworths. Or you can go to manscaped.com and use code SPANIAN and get 20% off. Woolworths aren't going to give you 20% off like Spaniel stars, does he? Code SPANIAN for the Lawnmower 4.0 at manscaped.com or you want to just quick and easy today, go to Woolworths. It's in all Woolworths. Let's go. Whatever happened to Pizza Hut? <laughs> Remember when we were young? Pizza Hut, Domino's, they was like, you know what I mean? Battling each other. Now, brother, I don't even think I've seen a Pizza Hut for like 15 years, brother. Anyway, Pizza Hut's out of the equation nowadays. You're lost, brother. Copper L. Bro, I'm actually excited. $7.50, you know what, bro? I always love the places that just make stuff fucking cheap like that, bro. It's a needed thing for the community. Like, you know places you go pizza, $25, $28 a pizza, bro. Like, you know what I mean? How are you going to feed a family with that stuff? You, you know, there's families out there, not much money, working families. Their kids want pizza. These are necessary things, you know? Imagine a place you can go, $7 a pizza. you got four kids, four pizzas. To $28, everyone's eating pizza. You know, I'm back to the drinks. My only one and only addiction. Thanks for that. All right, bro, thank you. You too. This is what I love about Maryville Domino's. On the side, they got a little outdoor um, dining area. Hey, let's urge. Straight out, lad. Supreme pizzas. Look, it's not something that I get. I don't get Supreme pizzas, but it's the only thing that's fair to judge off these places. That's why I got it. There's no way I'm gonna eat a pineapple. There's no way, but I'd rather have wheat picks then have pineapple on a pizza. Forget the pizza. If you put pineapple on a pizza, I'll launch it. It's launched. What do we got on here? Bacon, cheese, capsicum, beef, pepperoni, bit of herbs. That's what's on here. Uh, and mushroom. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Look, bro. It's so juicy. It's just so juicy. It's like every piece of meat you bite it, it's, it's oily, you know what I mean? It's not healthy. It's a supreme pizza, what are you talking about? It's not supposed to be healthy. Every, every bite of meat you bite, it's like oily, you know what I mean? The base is cooked good. Nothing bougie about the base. It's cooked well. Anyway, this is the standard, right? $7.50, boys. With a drink, $10, cuz. Yeah. But you go places, you're lucky $10, you get a bacon and egg roll nowadays. Look what you get for $10, lad. You know what I mean? You don't even have to be low on money to appreciate this. I've got money, mate. I've got money, bro. It doesn't mean I want to go get it ripped off everywhere. I'll still kick back $10 pizza and a drink, lad. Professional kickboxer. Wow. Oh, the tomato's nice, bro. Mmm. That's gun. Straight out, bro. They're setting a high standard, brother. Let's see if they can beat this. $7.50. Let's see what you got to offer. Let's go. All right, round two, first comparison. Crust pizza. Pizza people carry on about crust. True. We come to Dully Chill, so it's just up the street. We're at Maryville before we come up the street. There's a crust at Dully Chill shops. Let's suss it. Hopefully it's open. I don't even know if it's open. <laughs> Dully Chill shops has got mad. Like compared to what it used to be. 
Hello, how are you? What do you, do you have a Supreme pizza? Large. Large Supreme, brother. Is there pineapple on the Supreme? Yeah. Can you take it off, please? Yeah. Thank you. That's all. Thank you. All right. So we've jumped up in price to 20 $20. Everywhere I go, I'm getting their large pizza. So it's gone from $7.50 to, to $20. But we'll see. We'll see. Keep in mind that every price range has its place. It depends. If you're going out for a nice dinner, $20 for a pizza is fine. If it is the part. We'll see if it's the part. <laughs> they must spin out. My other camera guy's in here. <laughs> He's... Hey, did you tell him? Did you ask him? <laughs> My other camera guy just goes in and films boss. <laughs> Sorry. They got no idea what's going on. My other camera guy just rocks in with the camera and he's just in their face and they're like, I look back through the window and I see the two blokes standing there like, what the fuck's going on? Who are, they? Who are these blokes? We're getting swamped by an occur a current affairs swamp on us, lad. Let's are huge. Thank you, Bala. <laughs> I alternate drinks between um, stores. Can't get a can at every store. I got a can at the first one, I get a can at the third one. Oh, right, you keep in mind too, the last one was 10 bucks with a drink. So $7.50 for the pizza. This one was 20, no drink. Hey, oh, thank you. Thanks for that. All right, beautiful, let's cut. Hey, he come out all shy behind me, hey. It's me, hey, he goes, I'm here. <laughs> oh, look, there's even a bench for me. They built this here for old Spaniards, brother. They built this here for me. Wow. Baba, you know what? It's got olives on it. Wow. Straight out the Domino Supreme didn't have calamaro olives on it, cuz. Like, I know it costs $7 and that, but lad, like, he asked me, but I'll pay a few extra dollars for calamaro olives, bro. What's a Supreme pizza without olives? Come on. Onion? Cheesy, tomato, whatever, right? Calamaro olives. There's salami on here, but then there's also, it looks like sujuk. There's two types of sliced meat. I'm sure one salami, one sujuk. Capsica, mushroom, and onions. Wow. 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 Look, considering I said all that, how do I compare that? Hey, how are you? Hey, Dawn. How, how do I compare that to the Domino's pizza so far? The one major factor is that it has olives. So, for me, yes, it's better. But at this point, it's only better because it has olives. Take the olive off. Look, here's a slice without olives, okay? Is that considerably better than the Domino's one? I don't think so. I don't think it's considerably better than the Domino's one. If it's better at all, despite the olives. It's a nice pizza, but the Domino's one was a nice pizza. Straight out. So I feel that if I put the Calamaro olives on the Domino's pizza, if there was an option to add, they'd be almost, almost the same pizza. Maybe slightly better in quality. Keep in mind that the comparative was 750 to 20. So at this stage, we're sort of equal now. But having said that, I'm not saying it's a bad pizza. I'm just saying they're both mad. They're both lovely. Well, they're both hectic, brother. Well, onto Newtown, bro. Let's go, I can't eat anymore, I'll be full. Onto Woodward or fucking Westwood or Bella Bruda and Westwood. Woodward. What is it, bruh? Well, give yourself proper names. What are these names, brother? Who's gonna remember marketing 101 simple, memorable names? Domino's, Crust, you know what I mean? Cheesy Pizza, Bella Cruta. Bella Bruda. See, bruh, get a proper name, bruh. Anyway, we'll go there. All right, we come to Westwood. Westwood in Newtown. And unfortunately, they just want longer and longer holidays. They go, use open. They said, oh, nah, sorry, sorry on holidays. So, bad luck for you. They didn't even change it on their Google either. On Google, it says they're open. Anyway, so we've got to replace it with the next highest one that you suggested. We're going to Bella Cruta now. Bella Bruta. <laughs> All right, Bella Bruta, we're here. I was just looking in my phone. The next highest suggestion, and it makes sense, Bar Italia at Leichhardt. That was up there with pretty much all of them. Leichhardt is the Italian area. Bar Italia is famous. We'll suss out Bella Cruta and we'll head off to Leichhardt, the home of the Italiano. Let's huge. As far as I know, it's up here. I checked on Apple Maps. I don't know. It's probably here on the left. I'm lost. Oh, it's here. All right, it's here.
Oh, you fucking! Oh, you maggot! Fucking dogs. I'm done. I'm done, lad. I'm done. Fix your Google shit up, bada. How long you want to go on holidays for, you clowns? So what? It was Christmas two weeks ago, bro. It's the middle of fucking January. You're still on holidays. Get with it, bada. Huh? Hustle mentality. That's loser mentality. What do you want? One month off holiday? One month? One month off? Relax, brother. That's one twelfth of an economic year, brother. Get with the hustle. That's a loser mentality, bro. Anyway, I'm dirty. Let's go, hooch. But bro, it's closed. It's full closed. Brother, what do you mean? Dickhead. At least fix up your Google, bro. If you're not going to go, if you're not going to open your shop, don't write it on Google, you. Parlad. Let's go. Parlad. Let's go. Parlad. Let's go. Parlad. Me there, brother. Me. Yeah, stressing out. Gammon in the middle of the road, everyone's scared, bruh. Look now, they're all scared, bruh. <laughs> bruh, I'm dirty. Where do we live? In a retirement village? Sydney's itch shade. All right, so we got Bar Italia. They're open. I just rang them. Bella, dickheads are closed. West faces are fucking closed too. So we're going to Bar Italia in Little Italy, like her. Let's owed in Sydney. Can't even get a feed. Can't even get a fucking feed, mate. I'm stressing, brother. I should be doing an episode of Path to Glory right now, brother. I'm about to fucking hit some Path to Glory, lad. I'm punching on with members of the public if this isn't open. So, anyway, I'm done. I'm done, brother. Where are we going? I'm about to go Pizza Hut, brother. I'm done. Now, you need to watch a bit of inspirational videos from David Goggins and that, brother. No more months off, brother. <music> Norn Street Leichhardt, the home of the Italian community. Try it out, bro. Pretty bougie in here. Pretty bougie. What's the the closest thing to like the Supreme? Supreme. Oh, you got a Supreme? Supreme. Oh, beautiful. Uh, Supreme pizza. Supreme pizza, please. And a can of Coke Zero. Thank you. All right, when I went in, the owner, the bloke that served me, I remember him down the street. He was on like a scooter or something. You know, one of those Italian scooters. He's jumped off and got a photo with me. <laughs> I just remembered him then. For the best white Spaniard in the world. That's so huge, brother. Buddy, thank you. Number one, huh? Let's go. Thank you, brother. Nice All right, boy. He's strapped up. That's so huge. Bye, Italia. Supreme pizza. Oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot to say no pineapples. Yuck. Pineapple, I can pick it off. It's not, it's not their fault, I should have said it. Putrid little things. They're worse than little sultanas, little death balls. This pizza was $20 as well. But I'm just comparing the pizza. So $7.50 at Pizza Hut, $20 at Crust, $20 at Bar Italia. It's got olives, it's got olives. Yes. They're all pretty much the same in terms of ingredients. Capsicum, cabanossi, ham, cheese, olives. Right now I'm noticing if Domino's, if you put olives on your Supreme Pizza, everyone's out of business, cuz. Anyway, let's try this. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Let me reset. Oh. Bro. No, no, no. There's definitely a quality jump now. A quality jump just happened. Even down, what I'm doing that reaction to is the tomato base. Wow, it's just way more tomato-y and, and like sweet and nice. Wow, bro, that was hectic. Look at all the salt, look at the sultanas, whatever you use. Oh, bro, get off me. Oh, brother, look at this. Look at this. Wow. This is a hectic pizza. The jump when I went to crust, I didn't get a wow. There was no wows. Now this is full bomb. The meat is tasty. There's heaps of it. The tomato is just better. Just the tomato in itself. Relax, bro. You're in a 626. Relax, bro. They put an exhaust system on a Mazda 626. Get out of here, bro. That's gone. The meat's better. There's a lot of it. The tomato is better. There's just generally a lot of ingredients. The crust, the base, so far, in the jump from 750 Domino's into $20 pizzas, do I think it's worth it with crust? No, I don't. Do I think it's worth it with here? If you're hungry 99% of the time, would I pay $7.50 for Domino's or $20 for this? I would still pay $7.50 for Domino's. 99% of the time. If you're going out for dinner and you want the little bit quality better, right? you want the better quality, would I pay $20 for crust? 
No, I wouldn't because the quality doesn't jump enough. Would I pay $20 for this and to sit at a nice restaurant like Bar Italia and that whole theme? Yes, I would. I would say that the price jump is justified when, when we're talking about this pizza now and it wasn't justified in crust. But having said that, if you just want pizza and you're hungry most of the time, Domino's have just got, for so little they charge, are doing so well. Even though it's a mad pizza, any day of the week I'll pay $7.50 for a Domino Supreme. I'm sorry, straight out. Anyway, where are we going to now? Manush. Final place, Manush, and more, and more road. Imagine we get in, it's closed, brother. You don't know mental breakdowns. Forget the last mental breakdown. Watch what happens here. I'll do a siege like Dover Heights. Oh, 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 we can complete the show. Hello, how are you? You got a supreme pizza? Yeah, super supreme pizza, please. Is there pineapple on there? Uh, can you have no pineapple, please? Thank you. All right, that's it. We shortcut that one, brother. I'm tired. I've been going around all day looking for pizzas. I'm in the little um, Newtown Posse. I feel so woke. The base at this place is definitely different straight off the bat. It's a different place, hence Manush. Right? All the same ingredients. Ham, salami. Is this a salami or a sujuk or a cabanossi? Salami. Olives. Ooh, that's spicy, that one. This is the first one I had where the salami was actually spicy. That's oge. Mushrooms, ham, salami, cheese. That's it. This one is on a tomato base. You must choose between the tomato base or the oregano, the zata base. However you say it, zaktod, however you say it. And because I didn't specify, they just gave the tomato base. So if anything, this is comparable to a normal pizza. They got olives. They have olives. Stop it. You stop it. But I'm gonna tell you something. All bloody Supreme pizzas are almost exactly the same, bro. I'm trying to be a food connoisseur and this and that and this and that. They're all the same. This was $22, by the way. 22, right? So the dearest yet. This just tastes like the one from Crust. The base is slightly different, but apart from that, I don't know, it's a bit spicy, but like, it's little differences. I swear to God, if you put a blindfold on, I swear my mummy wouldn't know the difference. I swear my mummy wouldn't know the difference. What we're doing here is we're trying to see if these places can beat Domino. Domino 750 Supreme Pizza, 22. Crust, $20, did it beat it? It didn't, I'm sorry. It wasn't even close to beating it. It was literally, to me, the same as Domino's. Then I went to Bar Italia, $20 also, did it beat Domino's? It's a better pizza. Is it worth triple the price? It's not. It's not three times better. This one's not even as good as Bar Italia, right? So Bar Italia, if you just wanna go off what is the best pizza, Bar Italia won it. But Domino's, to me, any day of the week. Now I've, I've tasted them, I've tasted crust, I've tasted Italian authentic franchise, I've tasted manouche, Arabic style, Domino's wins, brother. I gotta give a mad shout out to Domino's for providing that quality of food for that price and helping out a lot of families, bruh. A lot of families. Ain't no one got $22. There's $22 to spend. So if you want to buy your kids a pizza each, it's almost 50 bucks just for them to have a pizza. Pizza, bruh. Let's get real. It's a piece of dough with a little bit of this and a little bit of that quarter of a sausage, quarter of a capsicum. It's, it's $3 worth of ingredients, 22 bucks. You know what I mean? So I've got to give it to Domino's all day. That's where I'll be going from now on. That's it, brother Domino's wins. Let's go.